Hey guys, Glitcher101 Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make basically <coughs> custom entrance sounds for brick rigs. So, let's get into it. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go on, on YouTube or any place that you want to go for, and <laughs> don't mind this, and we're just going to go and switch up whatever entrance sound you want. Now I recommend you get sounds that are consistent, not really from YouTube, but more consistent sounds, like from automation. So when the sound loops, the thing is it won't go da da. So just get a engine sound that'll be consistent, like your stat that um, designated RPM. So I'll show you an example of a bad engine sound. So if we were to go and search up, if we were to do um, Supra engine sound, and we were to go and this for an example. If you were to loop that part, it would have keep going dun dun every time you would have go gone on high RPM. So what you're gonna do is you just get a con consistent engine sound, where it'll just be one flat sound. Number two, once you've got it, you're gonna go to Unreal, and you're gonna you're gonna have your audio files that are make sure make sure they are make sure they are in a they are in a an OGG OGG format make sure in an OGG so we're just gonna import these so f for example it's gonna import these and we're not gonna be doing startup sounds just because and let's say we got a box engine sound it's gonna be our mid RPM it's gonna be our low RPM it's gonna be our high RPM make sure you have those we're not gonna be doing uh, startup sounds now for we're just gonna start with the idle RPM. It's gonna be our idle. We're gonna right click on it, we're gonna hit rename, and then let's put it as then you gotta copy me perfectly. S uppercase S C three underscore low. Like that. There's the file name for idle. Now for a mid you're gonna do the exact same thing. Theory three but this time we're gonna do mid, uppercase M as a mid, and it's gonna do theory three high. It's super 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 simple. That's really all that you gotta do. It's gonna go to here, cook content for Windows, let it cook. Now when it's done cooking, as you see here, we're just gonna close out Unreal. You're gonna go to your Unreal Projects folder. So be wherever you put it, Unreal Projects. You're gonna go to your, to your, um, to your project name. You go to Saved, Cooked, Windows No Editor, Project Name, Content, and there should be all your sounds. Make sure they're also in UEXP. Now another mistake that most people do is they'll start off. With the with the file names already named series three underscore mid underscore low, and that's actually wrong. You want to get a you want to start off with a name that's completely different, and then rename it to the proper name in Unreal. So you get these UEXP files. It's gonna copy all of these, and you're gonna go to Steam Apps, Common, Brick Rigs, Brick Rigs, Content. Now in here you're going to make a folder called Sounds, Cars, right here, and then, and then here it's going to paste your, your file names. And there you should have these three. Now to see if this actually works, it's going to go Brickroots and hit play. And as you will see, we'll go to Bricksville. Let's make sure I'm recording. It's gonna go to enter editor, and what you're gonna do is gonna open up any car and get whatever you want. So I'm just gonna go with an Atomica, and we're just gonna have any single Atomica. I'm just gonna go with actually no, we got a box engine, so we're just gonna do Porsche. I'm gonna go with this one. There you go. All that you gotta do, pretty simple, and you can 
enjoy any engine sound, just make sure you get a consistent engine sound like this. So when it loops, you don't really notice where it loops. So I recommend you get your sounds from automation, because usually they're pretty accurate, especially for boxer engines, V10s, V8s. And if you don't have automa automation, just go and maybe look up some YouTube videos or go search up some sites on Google. You should find some pretty good engine sounds on there. Anyways guys, I hope this helped. I hope this was a quick tutorial. And everybody stay safe, stay safe through the pandemic. Have a great day.